Hello, everyone. Welcome, folks. I'm so glad to see everyone here. Um, I am Voodoo Val. You guys may know me uh, as a host uh, some weeks for the uh, Adobe Live project here um, at Adobe. Um, but this week, I actually get to join you guys for the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I'm so happy, I'm so excited. Hi, Tim. Hi, Anna. Melanie, Paul, good to see you. Hi, Sam, uh, Victoria. It's good to see you guys. Um, uh, again, I'm very, very thrilled uh, to be able to, to join you guys. I'm gonna be here this week, um, as well as some really uh, wonderful designers um, and creators. Um, you guys get to see our, our hosts again this week, um, uh, Melanie and Kathleen, so excited. Um, and then I'm also going to be here uh, next week as well um, to continue the challenge. So it's gonna be super, super fun. Um, I get to join you guys uh, for so long. Um, but without further ado, I'm actually gonna pull up some stuff and uh, kind of show you guys uh, what we have um, planned for the week. Um, if you folks have never been here before, welcome. Um, if you have, then you kind of know the drill. Uh, we're gonna be working on uh, uh, two weeks worth of challenges for the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge, uh, which you guys can find here at uh, behance.net slash daily creative challenge. Um, if you folks go over there, um, you could pop in and see kind of the rundown of how this works. Uh, each day you will receive a challenge uh, from me. Uh, which you can find here. Um, and our daily show um, will basically go over uh, some cool core Photoshop uh, basics um, that you guys can uh, do challenges for in order to maybe scrub up your Photoshop skills um, if, you're, if you're getting a little rusty or if you folks are new to Photoshop and have never really even opened the program before um, or you uh, would just learn, like to learn how to do some things different than what you might normally uh, create. Um, but you guys can do the challenges, uh, you guys can uh, share them, uh, share the, the submissions and things that you create for those challenges in our Discord, uh, which you can find uh, down here at the bottom. Um, and I'm gonna pull up the Discord real quick just so you guys can, can see what that looks like. But share your work in here, you know, get in, make some friends, um, talk about design, uh, and I will actually be in the Discord chatting with you guys, going over some awesome things, uh, this week um, and next week and answering any questions um, and helping you through uh, any hiccups you guys may run into uh, during your challenge entries. But just to just to jump in here um, and kind of figure out how things work, if you've never used Discord before, it's a super awesome way to connect with tons of people and chat uh, within a huge community. Um, you guys will jump in here uh, into the welcome uh, channel uh, where you guys can find any information, helpful links, um, basically what uh, the Discord is all about and what each channel is for. Uh, uh, you guys can go into the introductions and say hello, uh, introduce yourselves, uh, get to know some folks and maybe scroll through and just see who's in here. Uh, you guys can get design feedback uh, on your challenges or your challenge entries uh, during the week. Um, and maybe just ask some questions about uh, some previous work that you guys have done. Um, you folks can uh, can share a little bit about yourselves um, and some of your work. Like we've got some pretty, pretty awesome stuff in here uh, from KJ. Uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, let's see, we can scroll through um, and see uh, like Victoria's working on some cool logos and stuff. You know, just a just a great place where you guys can uh, can come together and learn and and get better, um, improve your skill, um, and make some awesome stuff. Which city is this Photoshop? Uh, I'm actually in uh, San Francisco this week and next week. I'm very happy. <laughs> level 99. Ah, uh, yes, leveled up. <laughs> Someone just created a Discord. Yes, yes, everybody. So go to the um, uh, bit.ly uh, slash PS Discord um, if you would like to join. Um, it's a really awesome place where you guys can, can ask questions, uh, get some tips and tricks, um, and chit chat with folks. Uh, so I will be there again um, throughout this week and next week sort of helping out, and other weeks too, but this time I'm, I'm really gonna focus on helping you guys get through the challenges that we do. Um, and to answer questions, yes, all the challenges uh, for this creative challenge will be uh, Photoshop themed. Um, I'm hoping that by the end of the two weeks, you guys will have uh, some maybe refreshed uh, skills in your mind for Photoshop, or if you are newer, you will all have uh, some new skills and stuff to add to your repertoire, to your, your design Batman utility belt. 
And uh, you guys will also hopefully be able to use the things that we create for our challenges for your own branding on social media. Uh, for uh, your own, I know a lot of you folks are freelance artists or freelance designers um, in chat and you, on top of looking to grow your portfolio, uh, we also like to decorate our social media uh, and make everything look professional and awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through uh, some cool projects. Uh, how you can create some awesome graphics, uh, create some awesome projects and things to spice up your Behance, to spice up your Twitter uh, account, to spice up your Instagram and your Facebook um, and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to jump into that. Again, if you guys go to the uh, Daily Creative Challenge, behance.net slash Daily Creative Challenge, um, that's where you'll be able to find everything. You can tune in each day uh, and go over uh, all of these as they unlock. Um, you'll be able to get kind of a brief overview of what that project is going to be like for that day, uh, as well as download some cool assets uh, that I've created for you guys uh, in preparation um, of these challenges. And then you can join uh, behance.net slash Adobe Live and uh, work along with me. I'm gonna be going over um, all of the uh, different challenges each day, uh, as well as some alternative ways and methods that you guys can create some of these things. Uh, and I'm also going to uh, focus on how to find all the tools that you folks need to complete these challenges, but also uh, hotkeys and things for PC and for Mac um, to sort of improve your, your workflow a little bit. Is there any way to access past challenge files? The vids are on YouTube. I don't believe so. However, um, if you are looking to create some of the uh, challenges from before, what I do, uh, and I've done this with the XD Creative Challenge as well as uh, the wonderful Photoshop uh, Creative Challenges that Kathleen hosted, um, is I just went back uh, and looked at what was being done and tried to recreate the files myself. Uh, it was a little trickier sometimes for some of the tools that I wasn't familiar with, but I still feel like I, I learned a lot of uh, a lot of stuff, a lot of good um, good information, and got in there and, and worked on some new uh, worked with some new tools and stuff. Um, so highly encourage you guys to to jump back in there um, and check out any previous ones too, maybe in preparation uh, for the coming days, so you folks know what to expect. Yeah, it's good to see you, Kathleen. Um, also a fantastic um, artist and designer in chat, Miss Kathleen Illustrated. Uh, so definitely check her her stuff out and you guys will probably see her again uh, in the future doing some cool some cool challenges on stream. Uh, did you did you already tell everyone about how you're a Sith Lord? I am. Um, I was trying not to allow my my Sith Lord tendencies to take over the stream, but it's true. Um, I'm I'm not allowed to uh, activate the lats, lightsaber on stream, uh, but I promise it's under the table. Um, it's actually levitating over here, just out of sight, where you folks can't see. <laughs> Techno, welcome in. It's good to see you. Um, but yeah, so uh, that's what we're going to be doing uh, for the next couple weeks. Uh, you guys can also, if you folks are uh, trying to create or cultivate your Behance um, portfolios, uh, you guys can be posting those things um, on Behance as we go along throughout the week, which would be really cool. But if you actually don't have your portfolio uploaded to Behance or you're brand new, maybe you don't have a portfolio, maybe you're excited about these challenges because you'll be able to jump into Photoshop for maybe the first time, um, maybe I can take you through Behance and just kind of show you a little bit about it um, and how you might create a project. Um, so this is the this is the main page here where you guys can search through um, hashtags and go through all kinds of awesome um, uh, digital uh, paintings. Oh my gosh! Look, it's me. <laughs> I can see myself. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you can you can scroll through um, and you can check out a bunch of other designers. You can look up the kind of design uh, and things that you love to to do yourself um, as well and make some new friends. Uh, but if you haven't already, you guys can actually check out your own profiles. Uh, if I go over here, this is this is me um, right here, and I've got all of my uh, my my Star Wars fan art <laughs> and my uh, my paintings, my personal paintings and environments and such. Um, but when it comes to creating a project, which is what you guys will probably be doing, 
uh, throughout these weeks while you're uploading your uh, projects that we work on. Um, it's actually pretty easy um, and it's got some, some really awesome tools when it comes to, to putting these together. So maybe I can show you right quick. You can upload files, uh, you can just throw in a large uh, image uh, if you want, but they also have some really cool tools to add for example, a photo grid uh, in here. If you want to do a big collage of uh, all of your pieces that you did for the full two weeks, or perhaps you want to take some, some screenshots or do some mock-ups of a bunch of different angles of your project and you'd like to showcase them all in a little gallery, you can do that. Uh, you can add some, some text regions and get in there um, and add, uh, like, let's see, we can say, Hello, Behance. If I can spell hello and Behance right, we'll, <laughs> we'll get it done. Uh, and you can actually go through and uh, edit kind of the, whether you want this in the center or, you know, leftmost or however you'd like to position it. Uh, let's see, we can highlight this and we can do this as center aligns. You can change the uh, text uh, font, you can change the size, um, bold, and all that kind of stuff, which is pretty cool. You can also um, add some links and everything in there and add paragraphs and stuff and really uh, design your project because that's a cool thing that we get to do on Behance, right? Is it's it's not just posting one cool piece of, of, of work. You guys get to actually present it. You guys get to showcase awesome things, um, and so you can you can get in there and use those tools and create a nice little uh, little project there. Um, maybe I can give you an example of uh, what a nice project can look like. Maybe I can jump into to one of mine here and show you guys how I used the tools. I added a bunch of really cool images uh, to my Star Wars. Uh, project um, and I got in there with my uh, my text tool there and added some like a little paragraph of work there um, and then I went through and just started adding little little bursts of art just to kind of make things um, look fancy look uh, cool kind of present a uh, case study rather than just posting one piece of work so we can go over this a little bit more in the future uh, and kind of talk about uh, some of the techniques for for creating Behance projects. Maybe you guys have some questions uh, that I can answer for how one might go about that. But that's kind of, you know, my favorite thing about Behance is that they allow you to create a really nice presentation um, and show your progress and show how you got from the beginning, which many of you may be working from the very, very beginning of Photoshop skills um, this week and next week, uh, to your to your finished project. Um, but yeah, my guinea pigs name guinea, guinea pigs names were Amadala and Leia. That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Queen and princess. Dun dun dun. Oh yes. Thank you. Yes, if you guys could uh, could give me the Star Wars theme music in chat, that would be fantastic. Follower from Egypt, awesome techno. Welcome in. It is it is so good to have you. Star Wars creative challenge. Honestly, if you folks want, you could theme all of your uh, Photoshop daily creative challenges Star Wars if you want to. You could also theme them Star Trek. I won't hold it against you. <laughs> <laughs> you can do whatever you want, um, but I'm, I'm very excited to see the kind of stuff that you guys create along with me uh, this week and next week. Um, as I said before, I will be supplying you guys with some files uh, for some of these projects that you guys can follow along with, and I will be doing my projects my way, but you guys can also uh, break, the, break the mold, so to speak, and figure out what it is that you folks would like to create and work uh, at your own pace. Uh, create your your own things that deviate from my ideas and my uh, my instructions that I lay out for you. This is a cool time and um, an opportunity for you guys to experiment uh, with Photoshop tools to to kind of get more comfortable with design uh, and create uh, something of your own, something that you guys can be proud of. Uh, so I'm super excited to to see what all of you folks have in store for me. Um, I'm very excited uh, to show you all what I have in store for you. 
uh, this week, and it's, it's going to be fun. Uh, so again, before I take off, I'm going to show you one last time. If you guys are excited or as excited as I am about these challenges this week, head over to behance.net slash daily creative challenge. Register here uh, to, to work along with me from the first today to the 12th of this month. Uh, and make sure you check back every day down here uh, for all of these awesome uh, tutorials and challenges that are going to be unlocked as we progress through the two weeks. Uh, and also, again, join the Discord. I'm going to be in the Discord helping you guys out, doing all sorts of stuff um, and, and helping everyone with their, with their designs and kind of just nerding out and talking about design, talking about the things that I love um, and making cool design friends. Um, and this is what uh, what that looks like here. You guys can, can kind of see how things go. Post your work uh, at the end of every challenge day, get some feedback, uh, improve your work, and then post it to your Behance. Um, should be pretty fun. Uh, thank you guys again for joining me. Um, and I hope to see you folks tomorrow. <laughs>